What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today we're going to be checking out the very recently acquired Mono Racer Swordfish 2, a product from Bandai based on the very popular anime series Cowboy Bebop. Now this product came out in early 2019 and the average cost is roughly around $75, however if you're lucky you're able to find it for roughly around $45. Now this product is die cast, it's about 8 inches long, and there is pretty much no assembly required. What you get in this product is a very cool vehicle, a vehicle stand, and a couple of interchangeable pieces. And as tradition, before we go into the Swordfish 2 you see in front of you, we're just going to cover all the periphery items and the instructional pamphlets in the back left corner. So coming up first is the stand. The stand you see has Swordfish 2 written on the front, nothing at the bottom so it's a very light stand. And you can actually see the holster itself and you'll notice the holster has one portion here at the end and another at the front. The end is pretty much to hold the end of the vehicle and the front is, goes underneath the main cockpit. Um, the center landing gear you see in front of you, that is interchangeable and it goes right here and you'll notice there's a little notch there so it goes underneath the cockpit and it tightens very securely. Now one thing you want to notice is that this is static so it cannot move. Um, so if you were to use this stand just be aware that it could only face the forward position. And that's the stand. And coming up next is the instructional, or I guess the informative pamphlet right here, the Mono Racer Swordfish 2. Looking at the first page, it's important to note there is no English in this whatsoever, but it talks about the story, the explanation, and the characters, and on the, type you see, or on the top you see Spike, and there's a little corgi right there. And looking at the next page is where it gets a little bit more Informative here, you see the set contents. So number one is the vehicle itself. Number two is the cockpit with Spike inside of it. And yes, he is painted. Number three and four are interchangeable um, gears underneath the cockpit. And right now we're using number three on the stand itself. And there we have the stand and the holster. And here we have the monopod system. So it'll just pretty much tell you how to put the pod with Spike inside of it into the vehicle and it's very simple it has a plasma cannon at the bottom which has some uh, limited mobility and it has the air brakes right here which could open and close depending on uh, I guess depending on how you want to pose this thing and here are the landing gears and it's important to note that these landing gears are a little bit difficult to get out but it's not impossible you see the instructions it has number one and two number one you just peel back the uh, holding system and two the landing gears pop out but number one um, is actually pretty difficult even with the little notch that you could use your nails and try to peel back uh, it's not very helpful but the wings do come out as you see here the wing folding system and that is one way how you could get the landing gears to come out now when you do the wing folding system, it's able to collapse on itself, or the vehicle is able to collapse on itself as such. There, but there it is. And here is the display stand, and again right here on the top right is the interchangeable pieces under the cockpit. And that's what we're talking about, that there's a little hole right there where the stand be able to fit in. There it is, display stand. And nothing so much going on with the back uh, it just goes over very graphically all the additional parts of the ship that was discussed in the previous page. And that's it. Oh, and you'll notice, oh, I guess you can't see it, so let me move the camera. But you'll notice the box art here has lights. Yeah, that is definitely not the case with the <laughs> with this vehicle, so don't, don't expect any lights whatsoever. But I can tell you that this item uh, is very glossy, especially as die cast metal mixed in with plastic. Uh, coming right out of the box, it was really shiny. It sort of reminded me of like a new car sensation. But here it is. Here is the extra product, the extra piece right here, which is able to go under the landing gears here. And speaking of, we're able to take this landing gear out as such, and you're able to cover the gap, something like this. 
And you'll notice there's a lot of screws in this product, which is pretty cool. So coming up, what we're gonna do is just show you the cockpit and spike real quick. So the cockpit, you just take off the top, lifts very easily, cockpit comes out, and there's spike. Ignore my nails, I am going to clip them when I feel like it, I guess. But there's Spike in his cockpit. It's pretty cool. This is speed rare, pod racing. That's what it reminds me of too, to Star Wars. But, oh God, oh no, it's behind the stand now. But yeah, this is the pod. You'll notice there's a little notch right there and it will go into the center of the vehicle secure the pod, making sure it faces one direction. Like such, we're gonna have to put it in like this. As you'll see right there, there's a little notch. Here's the cockpit, and you just slide it down. As such, as such. There it is, as such, you just slide it down, and it locks itself in place very nicely. And here you'll also notice there's latches here and there's latches there. They don't really serve a purpose, but it is pretty cool for aesthetics. Looking at the rear portion of the vehicle, it's interesting because the way it connects the front part of the vehicle, red, to the back part, it's sort of like an ant or like a wasp. So here it could go up and down, it has very limited ability to do so, but keep in mind it's really serves no purpose if it went all the way up or all the way down. You cannot twist it left or right either. Looking at the exhaust, here it is. Pretty much comes in two. The gray portion is the first layer. The red portion is the second layer. And so when it's gone, when I guess when the exhaust is going, it's open. But when you wanna use the braking system, you just push it together and just push it together like that. And that's the braking system because it covers the exhaust. Ow. Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but the spikes at the ends of these vehicles are actually really, really sharp. And what's cool is the majority of the fins on the Swordfish 2 is mobile. So for example, this one is mobile. The top one is definitely not mobile, but this one could flap left or right. And if we look at the front of the vehicle, the flaps on the sides could go in and out. Like that, or excuse me, left and right like this. You could twist them around. Again, the spikes are sharp such honestly i'm on this end left to right left to right and at the front of the ship you have two non-functional flashlights but they are painted silver so looking at the bottom of the ship there is the plasma rifle and here are the two landing gears now as i was saying the landing gears here when you try to peel it up it's actually quite difficult so what you do is if you want to collapse the vehicle however you'd like to do it just open it and expand the wings. You're able to lower the wheel and try to do it with the locking mechanism up like this. Collapse together, push the wheel down, push the mechanic or push the uh, holding system in place. Now again, just using this as a demonstration, it is difficult to unlock this locking mechanism. You can notice there is a little latch right there and I have nails right now, so I still can't pull them out. So again, you just pull out the wings very slightly, very gently, and it will come out um, like this, like that. So now you can just pull the wheels up, push it back together, and yes, the wheels do roll. The wheels do roll, except for this, the, the back, except for the back, that does not roll. Now, again, we look at the well, what we mentioned before was a plasma cannon. So we're just going to push the landing gears down and for the plasma cannon, you just push out such, and now I could twist left and right. But remember the cannon is pretty long, so it does get obstructed by the sides of the flaps as such. But it is a pretty cool feature to have. And that's the plasma cannon, very simple. So, Overall, oh wait, I forgot to show you the collapsible portion of, of the uh, Swordfish 2. So the collapsible portion is when the wheels are out, you pull out the wings, you pull out the wings, and now the wings could fold up 
And keep in mind, it is not even. So fold it up like this. And now that you have the, um, the landing gears out, uh, minus the one in the back. So if we could just quickly remove this one, it's secured in there pretty nicely. So I guess for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna spend time trying to uh, yank it out. This is essentially it. Just keep in mind with the back landing gear, the vehicle will be a little bit more even as such. So this is more like a, a checking out video, less than a review video because I've just been messing around with this for about 30 minutes since it came into the mail. Can I recognize it? Can I recommend it for $75? Uh, I would definitely recommend it for 75 bucks full price, regardless if it's half price or whatever, because uh, it is a anime classic and it's something that I truly enjoy as well. I think it looks great. I think it's super glossy, um, very high product, very high detailed product. And uh, I think it just goes well with any of my collections. So if you have any questions or comments, please post it down in the section below. If you want to see something specific about this item, um, just post it down in the section and I'll try to take pictures of it to show you and to answer your questions. If you're interested in seeing the box real quickly, just let me shift the camera up. That is the box it comes out in. Uh, I know there is a, another product uh, from Bandai, the Swordfish 2. Uh, yeah, Swordfish T-O-O, Swordfish as well or whatever. But um, there's nothing really too spectacular about this box that I just need to show you all. Um, if you just happen to find it in the store, the back of the box here is pretty much all you need to know. It talks about the, the monopod system, the landing gear, the air brakes, the wing folding system, the display, and the plasma cannon. And on the side of the box, there's really not much to it. And what's interesting too is the actual size is about 235 millimeters. So the image on the box is approximately the same size, if not the exact same size of the final product. But that's all I have to say for this video, you guys. Uh, appreciate you all for watching, and then I will see you all next time. Peace out.